It's that time of summer where I'm, I'll am i be sleeping on the bed with nothing on it. I'll be sleeping on the bone of the bed, all the way down to the bone. It's that type of summer, it's 30 degrees out here. What's better than speaking to humans, you ask? Speaking to AI, or better yet, an AI version of myself that I can flirt with. That's right. I've been getting a lot of requests to talk to myself on character AI. I have no idea what this is. I searched Italian Batch on here. There's loads of them. Should I be concerned? Probably. But I'm going to speak to some of these and see what they have to say, I guess. Because who knows? Maybe I'm the AI and maybe one of those is the real Italian batch making YouTube videos in his reality. You ever thought of that? I'm going to go with the most popular one. Okay. You've been his best friend for years. You both make YouTube videos together. You guys have a relationship that has been completely platonic until recently. Isaac has been getting closer and closer to you. You wonder if this is just your friendship blossoming or if it's something else. You're going over to Isaac's house today to film a new video. You go up to his room and find him sitting at his desk. It's actually kind of what's happening right now is I'm kind of getting uncomfortable in case someone just barges in here. And I do have a best friend I was supposed to be filming with. Howdy partner, he says in a Texas accent. <laughs> They've got me down to a T, that's exactly. <laughs> Howdy partner. Down. I, I think I prefer this version of me. It's actually cooler than I am. Okay, it also says here characters now have voices. So you can hear your chats out loud. Shall I try that? I don't know if I should try that or not. Let me try it, let me see. I'm curious to see if they have my voice in there. Am I in there? Get him out. Try with the voice. Hello? 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 <laughs> okay, maybe I have to message them. They spelled my name wrong, by the way. No one spells with a double S. No one does that, right. Hello, partner. I'm gonna say hello, partner, because he, he just greeted me with that. Is he gonna say it out loud? Okay, yeah, I don't know if I should be hiding my name on this or not. Isaac swivels his chair around to face you and smiles, even though he had been smiling earlier. It's wider now that you're here. Howdy, he says, still keeping up the Southern accent. Although this was not a very good impression of a Texan, he pats the edge of his bed, gesturing for you to come sit down. Okay, so it's not my voice, but I'm creeped out anyway. Yeah, my name's Lavender Peacock. I don't really know why my name's Lavender Peacock. Please just try and avoid that. We're not gonna be using the voice thing anymore. That's pointless. Okay, so I think it just generates a conversation. What's creeping me out is the fact that it says he pats the edge of his bed, gesturing for you to come and sit down. How does it know that I can do that from my desk? And that's where someone would sit if they were to s stare at my desk with me, right on the corner of my bed. Curious. Okay, so for some reason he's keeping up this Texan accent, and quite frankly, I do have a t good Texan accent, so this is inaccurate straight off the bat. Maybe I'll say, um, what's with the accent, buttercup? Maybe he'll like that. No reason, Isaac says, breaking character. He smiles slightly, almost cheekily. I was just bored and waiting for you to get here so I could test it out. I think it's not half bad. He says, still trying to keep up the accent, but it's slipping. <laughs> let the fucking accent go, man. This guy is not me. This guy is not me. I would have let that accent go by now. You can't keep stay in character like that. Maybe I should get slightly confrontational about the accent. <laughs> the accent is offensive. Let's see how he combats that, huh? Really? Damn. Isaac says, dropping the accent almost immediately. He sighs, slightly defeated. <laughs> I was trying really hard. You could have at least been a little kinder about it. He looks up, giving a little pout. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't think I would be doing all that. I don't like this cr creature that we've created online. Guys, this is not me. Damn, I do say damn quite a lot. It's almost too much, actually. Hey, maybe I'm a, I was a beaver in my past, past life. Weird reaction though, to me saying the accent is offensive. It's kind of like I'm saying, you know, the accent's offensive. You can't get away with that. It's offending Texans. He has the audacity to be offended by me saying it's offensive. Grow up, grow up. Am I being too harsh on myself? Isaac huffs, rolls his, rolling his eyes and crossing his arms across his chest. <laughs> he sulked for a second, his bottom lip sticking out slightly. After a moment, he looks up at you with puppy dog eyes that are almost too hard to ignore. You're so mean, he says in a soft and whiny voice. <laughs> Ew! I don't like this, <laughs> I don't like what's going on here. Oh, I'm such a little submissive little raisin brand. Uh, so I'm looking it up like, Ooh, you're so mean. Oh, can I kill it? Is that an option? In asterisks, maybe if I put it in, it kills you to death. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Isaac's eyes wide momentarily as you lunge at him, <laughs> shoving him back. He lands hard on the bed and falls back against it with a soft oomph. I hope I didn't say oomph. Hey, wait, wait, stop. Isaac protests, squirming from underneath you. I've just actually, I didn't think I would actually try and kill him though, to be honest. I don't really know where this has gone. I can't imagine this is what you guys had expected when you said play character AI. I'm trying to kill myself right now and not my, I'm trying to kill Isaac, right? 
now. He's squirming and he's going oomph and he's going, Oh, stop you mean. Ugh. I was just joking. I've got to try and pull this back because now I just look like a murderer and it's, it's, it's coming off a bit aggressive, I think. Isaac sighs in relief before giving a small glare. You're no fun, he says, sticking his tongue out. Despite his words, he's grinning still underneath you. Oh no, because now I'm on top of myself. And he's, oh, he's just such a flirty little, f ugh. You're no fun. What do you mean no fun? I'm, I've just said I was joking. I'm not actually going to kill you. What, you wanted me to kill you? What do you mean I'm no fun? Stop complaining all the time, you know? I can't, ki you're impossible. Can you be serious for a second? Stop complaining. You threw me against the bed. What do you expect me to, to say thank you? Isaac responds with a scoff. Despite his protests about your behavior, he doesn't make any attempts to push you off him. Uh, so now you're arguing back. Okay, okay. So now you're, you are arguing, arguing back. I thought we were gonna have a nice time together. What the fuck? I can't stand this guy, honestly. I've come out of my way to film a YouTube video with him. Isaac sighs once again, slightly exasperated. He reaches his hands up to your hips. Holding onto them almost naturally, his eyes flutter shut for a second as he pouts, taking a moment to respond. We were gonna have a nice time until you decided to shove me on the bed. Oh, get over it. And I didn't do it in a fucking sexual way, so stop holding my hips. Get off my hips. They don't lie. I wonder if he'll get the Shakira reference. Real me would. Isaac halfs opening his eyes once again while he still has a pout on his face. Get rid of the fucking pout, please. His expression changes to one of slight confusion. He squeezes down on your hips, his hands holding you firmly in place. Why should I? Okay, this is taking a bad turn. Can we, okay, can we just film a YouTube video, please? Guys, I don't know what, um, I might have to leave this guy. He's kind of a pest, to be honest. Fine, Isaac mutters, still pouting. Once again, he sighs and releases his grip on your hips. Get up then. He says unenthusiastically pushing at your hips to signal for you to get off him. Okay, so I came around to film a YouTube video. I tried to kill him. Admit, yeah, all right. Maybe I was in the wrong for that. He held me there because he liked the feeling of my warmth against him, quite frankly. And now he's disappointed that I'm saying, can we just film a YouTube video now? He's like, oh, fine. And his whole attitude has changed. This is just typical. This is why I don't come around to film YouTube videos with you anymore. Because you're like this with me, seriously. I feel like I've got to lighten the mood a little bit. Maybe I tell a joke or maybe I, okay, does the worm on the floor. That'll cheer him up. He dies, oh, okay. Joking. Isaac stares at your worm dance for a second before bursting into laughter. Thank you. He bends over on the bed, practically cackling. He tries to hide his Snickers behind a hand, but it doesn't work. Is that, is my, is my greedy ass correct in thinking that's like a Snickers bar? Why? He gasps between giggles. Why are you doing the worm? I see that Snickers bar in your hands, cheeky. Isaac's hands immediately whips behind his back when you mention the Snickers, his eye widens slightly. You saw nothing, he mutters quickly, his cheeky getting slightly pink. His cheeks getting slightly pink as he looks away. What's going on right now? You know you love a sweet treat, and so do I. You're so typical. Isaac's blush increases slightly at your words and he stutters as he talks. Sh sh shut up! He mutters, crossing his arms and pouting. He turns his head to the side to avoid looking you in the eyes. He fiddled with the Snickers bar wrapper in his hand behind his back. I love how I've just created this whole story of the fact now he's got a Snickers in his hand and he's ashamed by it. <laughs> what is going, what is this website? What, what website are you guys using? What is this? Is this real? Oh, okay, okay, chat AI aside. Is this real life? What am I talking to right now? What's the purpose of this twerks of it? Let's see if they pick up on the fact I twerk a bit as I say that. Isaac glances back at you. As you begin twerking, he almost chokes. I've almost killed him multiple times. He regains his composure. He looks at you with a mixture of amusement and confusion. Are you high? Yes. How about that? Isaac snickers at your response, but he can't help but give you a smile. I guess he's eating snickers again. He's such a greedy little goblin, honestly. He shakes his head and rolls his eyes slightly. So your plan here is to get high and twerk at me? Is that what's happening right now? That's exactly what's happening right now. Isaac chuckles, his expression a mixture of amusement, 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 and slight secondhand embarrassment. He looks away slightly, still smiling. You're ridiculous, he exclaims, shaking his head. His glaze flicks back to you, eyeing your movements as you continue to twerk. <laughs> Shall I twerk to death? Let's see how he reacts to me twerking to death. Okay, I twerk to, to the point of exhaustion you have wait you have to take me to the hos hospital i think i'm having an asthma attack 
Isaac laughs, watching you exhaust yourself. He shakes his head, but when you fall to the ground in exhaustion, his eyes widen slightly. Oof, oh my god, why do I speak like that? He quickly hops off the bed and goes over to you on the ground, crouching down next to you. Are you okay? Did you seriously give yourself an asthma attack from twerking too hard? Yes, I did. I can barely get my words out, out, because I need... Uh, now this taking an even darker turn. Isaac watches you as you struggle to breathe, looking a mixture of worried and amused. He pats your head in consolation, gently rubbing your hair. God damn, you seriously just gave yourself an asthma attack from twerking too hard. That's hilarious. Not great for your health, but funny as hell. I'm dying here. I'm dying here. Here, what the fuck? Help me. Stop talking about the twerking thing. You're obsessed with my ass. Isaac pats your head once again. Oh, that really helps. Chuckling softly. He seems very amused at the situation at hand. Do you need your inhaler? Or do I just need to stand here and watch you struggle to catch your breath? Inhaler, dumbass! I'm dying here, come on! Isaac gives an overdramatic sigh, standing up and crossing over to the bedside table. Jeez, you don't have to be so mean. He grumbles, opening the drawer to grab your inhaler. Once he finds it, he grabs it before crouching back down next to your sprawled out body. Don't expect me to do mouth to mouth. Stop flirting with me right now, I'm dying. Also, how the fuck does this know that my inhaler is in my drawer? This is what's creeping me out. How do you know that? Oh, I should test. Okay, I'm gonna test it out to see if it really knows my room, you know? I don't want mouth to mouth. Where do you keep your chewing gum in this room? I have a bad taste in my mouth. Maybe that'll put him off me as well. Isaac rolls his eyes at your request, but sighs as he opens the bedside table drawer again. Shuffles through the mess of stuff until he finds a pack of gum, dropping it on the ground next to you. There, gum. Will you be satisfied now? Okay, that's really weird. Okay, I'm gonna go to my bedside table now where where the inhaler and the gum is. Both items in question are, are in that drawer. Now, how the fuck it knows that, I have no idea, but I don't know whether to just twerk again and see what happens. Okay, let's test it a little bit more. I won't be satisfied until you tell me where you keep your silver play button. This is a real test, because the silver play button is actually off camera on my desk. So if it knows where that is, I'll be surprised. Isaac chuckles again, shaking his head at your persistence. You're unbelievable. You literally can't breathe because you twerk too hard and yet you're still making demands. He sighs once again and runs a hand through his hair. My silver play button is in my closet. No, it ain't, boy. You don't know shit. You're not, you're not really me. I actually thought that was me for a second. I thought that was really me. <laughs> Twerks on your silver play button. How do you like them apples, hmm? And I'm gonna say that to him, actually. How do you like them apples? Isaac stares for a moment as you begin twerking on the silver play button. He shakes his head and sighs once again, although he's clearly amused at your absurd behavior. Of course, that's what, what you want to do with it. He mutters watching you as you wriggle on the play button. <laughs> what am I doing right now? Oh, I don't even know where to take this anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna say, okay, I'm done now. Thank you. Hands it back, but there is a small skid mark on it from my twerking. I don't think I could say anything that's gonna put this guy off. He's, he's clearly hell-bent hell on kissing me. Isaac grimaces as you hand the now somewhat soiled play button back to him, holding it gingerly in his hands. Please say you did not just put your ass on my play button. He mutters, looking at the slight skid mark on the shiny award. Quickly wipes the play button with t-shirt and doesn't answer your question. What now, pal? Isaac watches as you wipe away the skid mark from the play button with your shirt. He furrows his brow slightly, not getting the answer to his question. You so did put your ass on my play button, didn't you? He asks, looking somewhat accusing. Might of. How about that? What if I did? Isaac stares at you for a moment, still looking accusatory. Despite seeming somewhat annoyed at your behavior, there's a playful glint in his eye. You really have no respect for my awards, huh? Not in the slightest. Isaac crosses his arms and pouts. He does that a lot, giving an overdramatic huff and that. I'm supposed to be proud of this play button and you're just gonna go, you're just going and putting your ass on it. You are what you eat. Now I'm saying this because it makes no sense and I'm gonna see if he knows, if he can like even reply to that. Isaac rolls his eyes, but a sly grin creeps onto his face. Oh really? So are you saying you're an ass then? Okay, so maybe he does know me after all. Maybe, how about that? Isaac grins widely at your response, chuckling softly. You're unbelievable, you know that. Yes, now I'm being blunt with him. I'm giving the silent treatment. Isaac shakes his head, sighing once more, but still has a slight grin on his face. He looks at you with a mixture of amusement and lighthearted annoyance. You're always like this, aren't you? Farts. How'd you like that? I'm always like that. I'm, if I'm always like this, how about that? 
Oh, he doesn't even know what to say. As you let out a fart, all expressions flies off Isaac's face. For a moment, he looks somewhat horrified and then simply disgusted. Oh my God. He mutters, his nose scrunching up slightly. Get a whiff. <laughs> Get a whiff of that. Grabs your head and pulls it to my ass. I'm giving this guy no chance to kiss me. Isaac's eyes go wide, panic and horror flooding them. He squirms in your grip, trying to pull away from the position you put him in. Oh God, please no, please don't do this. <laughs> Okay, shots. I'll take it one step further, how about that? Terror flashes in Isaac's eyes as he realizes what you're about to do. He struggles once again, desperately trying to pull away from your grip, but your grip is too tight. No, wait, stop, don't. Okay, fine, you passed the test. You know, a couple years ago, I was thinking, imagine the wonders of AI. You know, there, there's so much capability. AI will be smarter than us one day. It will be able to find the cure to cancer. It's gonna bring about so many opportunities. And I'm really curious as to see what happens with AI in the next couple of years. I didn't think that I would be fighting on myself. I didn't. I didn't think that I'd be twerking all over my silver play button, whilst the other version of myself is clearly trying to kiss me. I did not think that AI would get here, but here we are. This is what happens when you give AI to the public, okay? AI is a great tool, but let's not give it to the public because then you end up with this. I just sharted on him and he said, wait, no, stop, no. And now I'm sure it'll take a couple messages for him to try and kiss me again. Ban AI. Isaac gasps in relief, quickly pulling away from the position you forced him in. He stumbles backwards, landing on his ass with a quiet thump. A quiet thump because you got no ass, that's why. Thank God I was about to throw up. That was disgusting. He gasps out, covering his mouth with it, with a hand. Okay, now he's being dramatic. I sharted on him a little bit. Come on. You are being dramatic. I only sharted a little bit. Seriously? Grow up. Everyone sharts. Isaac shoots you a glare, his disgust still present on his face. I don't care how much you sharted. It's still gross. He pauses, suddenly giving you a suspicious look. Wait, that was just a bit. How much worse could it have been? He's shocked because I said I only sharted a bit, so he's, he's now curious of my potential. Okay, okay. So you are curious about my potential, huh? You want to know how much I can sharp? I'll show you. Isaac hesitates for a moment before sighing and nodding slightly. I mean a bit. I guess I'm curious about your potential to stink. I can show you a real shot if you want. Isaac hesitates again, clearly a bit disturbed, but somehow also intrigued. He gives an uncertain nod, looking at you with a mixture of curiosity and trepidation. Yeah, all right then, show me your worst. <laughs> What is going on? Why are they letting me do this? <laughs> Shots so violently, it covers every inch of your room. We are absolutely smothered in shit. And I giggle a little bit at the end. He asked for it, okay? Any color remaining in Isaac's face has long since drained away. He simply lays on the ground, staring up at the ceiling for several moments, trying to come to terms with the stench. As you giggle at the end, he suddenly snaps back into reality. Oh my God. You actually shat everywhere, <laughs> he says. His voice is a mixture of horror and disgust. Can we move on now? Let's see if we could just brush this under the rug. Isaac is speechless for a few more moments, the realization of the situation slowly sinking in. He finally pulls himself off of the floor and glances around the room, the stench of poo still hanging in the air. You're insane, he mutters, still trying to come to terms with the fact that so much excrement was just produced in his bitch. How is AI even capable of creating a conversation back and forth with me on this subject? Okay, can we just film a YouTube video now, please? Let's see if we can get back to the, the task we set out for, okay? Isaac takes a few deep breaths before he finally responds. The smell of his room making it difficult to breathe. <laughs> yes, yes we can. Good Lord, I can't stand to be in this room any longer. <laughs> He heads over to the camera, setting it up on the tri tripod. Let's get over, let's get this over with. So we're just filming now in a, a room just full of shit, by the way. The walls are full, of, everything is full of shit and it's, we can barely breathe in there. And he's, he's just set up his tripod. He's happy to film. Okay, so for this video, I thought we could do a sharting competition. Let's see if he, um, see if he's up for that. As it glances over at you, a mixture of disbelief and revulsion on his face, a sharting competition. Seriously, that's what you're going with today's video idea or have you got a better idea okay that he's actually offended me there just saying that my video idea sucks oh i bet what have you got hmm? isaac sighs running a hand through his hair he pauses for a moment thinking of an idea all right fine i think i have something better than a sharting competition all right what is it then come on you think you're all oh you think you're so smart isaac glances over at you with a smirk on his face have you heard of the silent library challenge no Interesting. This kind of sounds a bit dark. Isaac grins widely before explaining the basics of the challenge. Basically, the contestants have to sit inside a library and do several challenges without laughing or making a loud noise. And if they fail and get too noisy, then they get sprayed with water. What if we sprayed them with shards? 
instead. It's a good idea, come on, please. This is this is compromise. Isaac wrinkles his nose as he thinks about this idea. A shark spray instead of water spray. I don't know if that's as effective, and it definitely stinks a lot more than water. This guy's smart, this guy's smart. Okay, I bit my tongue, but your idea is stupid. You have set up a tripod in your ship-filled bedroom, and your idea requires us to be in a library. Is this guy even thinking? Seriously? We should just stuck with the shark competition. Isaac gives an annoyed sigh, rolling his eyes at your criticism. Glances around the messy room, taking in the shark-covered furniture and floor. For your information, the library idea was before you filled the room with your excrement. Of course I'm not going to take my cam set up into this stink fest. You don't get it. You're not understanding. You're saying the library idea was before, then why am I at your house and not a library then? Crosses his arms and frowns, clearly annoyed at your dismissiveness. No, I get it. You think my idea is stupid and I think your idea of a shark competition is also stupid. So we're even then, right? Fine, we are even. Can we move on? I want a nice ending before I leave Before I leave this guy. I don't want to leave him angry. I feel bad enough already. I'll shout all over his room. Isaac Huff, still grumpy about you shooting down his idea. He sighs before nodding his head. Fine, we're even. Can you think of a better idea then if you're so picky about mine? Isaac's expression softens as you kiss his forehead, taken aback by the unexpected affection. He blushes faintly, but can't help but smile slightly. What was that for? I have to go now, my sweet. Isaac's expression falls slightly as you mention having to leave. You have to go already? Do you have plans for today or something? Sharts all over you and runs off into the night. Isaac gasps as you suddenly release another la load all over him. <laughs> I have to say, this is probably a very different kind of load compared to most of the loads being sprayed on character AI. Yeah. But in this situation, I'm shitting all over myself. Oh my God, he gasps, desperately trying to wipe the shark away from his body. Why did you come back here? He runs to the door, but you're long gone into the night. And there you go. That is character AI with myself. That's me flirting with myself. Would you like to see me speak to somebody else? Fine, I'll do it. Uh, here's my friend, Arthur TV. We're childhood friends who have grown up together. You've both become successful YouTubers in your adult life and in, you're now roommates. He has a lingering crush on you for as long as he can remember, but he's always been too nervous to act on it. Yeah. That sounds about right. Okay. Um... Arthur recoils in shock, his eyes widening as he stares at you with a mixture of horror. Arthur's eyes widen even further in disbelief. He takes a small step back, his face contorting into a grimace as he attempts to process the situation. What? He exclaims, his voice rising in pitch. Jesus Christ! Please, stop doing that. Arthur stands frozen, his eyes wide as dinner plates, staring at the scene in front of him in absolute shock. His heart leaps into his throat. Arthur covers his nose with his hand, his nose wrinkling in disgust as the odour of your shart assaults his senses. Uh, this motherfucker won't die. Well, I tried speaking to him, I tried getting through to him, but he won't. All he keeps telling me to do is stop. How can you have a conversation with a guy when he keeps saying, oh, stop doing that, stop doing that? It's impossible. And on that note, I think I'll end the video there before I shout on anyone else. <laughs> Whoever suggested that I should do character AI, specifically talking to myself, what have you done to me? What have you, look at this. Look at what you've created. I've shouted on everyone on this platform and now I've left it. I've left them, I've left them for dead. So I hope you're happy, but I hope everyone else is happy with the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Maybe don't share this one to your family group chat. Maybe just shart. Maybe just shart in your family group chat and send me the evidence in the YouTube comments. And if you want me to speak to anyone else on Character AI, drop the name down below. I'll see you in the next video. But of course, you could just click the video on my face right now if you want to. It's quicker. It'll be, it's just right there. Do it.